What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best settings for the RPCS3 emulator on Android Mali devices to get the best performance. With the new Alpha 6 update, they have fixed a lot of issues, improved compatibility, and even added more settings to tweak for better performance. As usual, if you already have RPCS3 installed, you can directly update it. Your data won't be deleted. Once it's installed, I'll close everything. Now open the RPCS3 emulator. And here, everything looks the same. If we click on the add icon this time, you can import ROM package files as well as you can directly add a ROM folder from storage. Anyways, here I've already installed the latest firmware 4.92. If we take a look at system info, it's pretty much the same. So this is my Galaxy phone powered by the Exynos 1380 with a Mali G68 GPU running on the latest driver. All right, now let's head over to settings. Here, they've added a share log option. If you have any debug issues, you can directly share logs with the developers. There's also a custom GPU driver option. Well, as we know, it's only for Snapdragon users since Mali GPUs already come with a default driver. Now let's go to advanced settings. In this video, I'll show you the best possible settings for Mali GPU devices. First, go to core. Here, the PPU decoder is set to recompiler by default. Set PPU threads to all eight cores. Now, scroll down and go to Core Affinity. Here, you need to assign each core value to RSX and SPU. This may vary depending on the device. For example, my phone's processor has four high-performance ARM Cortex-A78 cores and four efficiency cores. For the performance cores, select RSX, and for the efficiency cores, select SPU. On some devices with two Cortex-A7 series cores, you should set it to RSX. If your device has X1, X2, or newer cores, which are found in most flagship devices, you can also set them to RSX. However, this is still not 100% sure, like because different devices use different ARM architectures. Here, RSX FIFO accuracy is set to fast mode. SPU cache is enabled. Leave all remaining settings to default. Now get back. On VFS, everything remains the same. Now, to video. And this is a very important step to set up. Go to Vulkan. Set Fidelity FX Sharpening to 0. Async Q Scheduler is set to Fast Mode. The VRAM size value is allocated by default. Custom Driver. Enable Turbo Mode. That's it, now get back. Performance Overlay this time. You can customize the FPS meter overlay based on your preference, like its position or whatsoever. Here, Renderer is set to Vulkan. Set screen resolution to the lowest, 480p or 720p by default. Set frame limit to off. Set second frame limit value to zero. Disable MSAA. Set shader mode to async shader recompiler. Set shader precision quality to low. Output scaling is set to bilinear. If you want, you can enable VSync for stability. Enable stretch to display area for native full screen. Now scroll down. Here you'll find resolution scale. Set it to 50 to 75%. This will reduce overall quality but improve performance. And that's it, we're done. Now get back to audio settings. Everything stays the same. And that's it. These are the best settings for Mali GPU devices. But if you're a Snapdragon user, most of these things aren't necessary, just some basic settings. Since you'll be using the Turnip driver for better performance, so there's no problem. All right, it's time for the test. Let's test GTA 5 again this time. Look at this, guys, this looks terrible. Since we set it to 480p with 50% resolution, it's completely blurry. Oh, it just got stuck. Let's try it again. This time let's go with max resolution 1080p with the 50% resolution scale. And let's see. All right, everything is okay. It's holding up guys, like we are getting almost nine to 10 FPS. Of course, there are a lot of stutters and lags, but still it performs really well on a mid-tier phone.
Oh, it crashed. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. This update is really good, with more custom settings, allowing you to tweak and optimize everything. Also, let me know which phone you're using in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.